Hey, what is going on everybody? And in today's video, I wanna show you how easy to fly with a $29 flight. And wait, actually, it's a $28 point, like 10 cents. And we're gonna fly with Nook Air. And I'm gonna show you if there's gonna be any hidden fees, how is the airplane as a whole. So I don't know if this is gonna be located mainly in Thailand, uh, but I'm sure they're gonna have many airlines around the country, but I don't know if it's gonna be something like in Hong Kong, China, or anything like that. So we're gonna move into the airplane so I can show you all of it, and let's go. And one of the first things that surprised me about this flight was the boarding pass. As you can see, it looks like a receipt paper. It's not the usually boarding pass that you're gonna get with most airlines. And I think the way the reason why they do this is because they're gonna save money on paper. Instead of getting this thick boarding pass, they just give you this cheap <laughs> a boarding pass, which it looks like a, like a receipt paper. Okay guys, so right now we just arrived in the airplane and I just want to let you know what is actually some of the fees that we pay additional to the flight that we booked at the beginning. So we paid $29 for the flight at the beginning and then we paid an, an additional $30 more because we checked in our bags. So the total of the flight between my girlfriend and I is around like $120 as a total just to round it a little bit. So it was a lot, it was $29 for the flight at the beginning. It was an additional $30 for luggage for the for me only and for my girlfriend it was the same price. So so far we have a $30 for the flight, $30 for like uh, for the luggage, and that's gonna be like it falls to $60 per person and a, and a total of $120 for everything. And I have to say the staff was pretty friendly, so I'm just gonna give you a quick review. So these uh, these seats are actually more comfortable than most airlines. <laughs> and it sounds crazy so the total flight for this is gonna be like around one hour and a half from like from uh, Bangkok all the way to the Krabi Airport which is gonna be in the islands so stay tuned for like a little bit more of the review okay because I know there's gonna be a lot of people watching me right now okay let's go okay let's take a look at the seats so the seats I would say is pretty comfortable and uh, for the ones that don't know I'm actually like 5'11 and around 200 pounds so I have enough room and here to actually sit down perfectly. Uh, they don't have any type of TV or anything like that uh, because I mean it's a really cheap flight. Like usually you will not find it like flights like this. And you're gonna have like a table in case you wanna kinda like eat something in here. Overall I would say it's pretty good. Like I don't have anything to complain about. Uh, the seats are pretty comfortable. So when you actually see this kinda like they're okay. They have enough cushion for like one hour and yeah okay stay tuned for more and right now we're gonna see how is the customer service if they're gonna bring us some food and if they do that's gonna be a plus so they didn't give us food but they gave us some water and as well as uh, some snacks like uh, chocolate snacks which I didn't like as much <laughs> so this is gonna be a perfect example when you come here to Thailand is that when you see a Buddha, when you're gonna go to a temple, uh, make sure first of all that you're gonna be wearing jeans or any type of uh, kind of like clothing that is gonna cover yourself. Like no shoulders, not like back, or not even like legs showing up. And also don't use it as a decor. Don't even buy. Don't even buy or sell a Buddha. Right there. So, it's gonna be to pay respects, okay? Okay, that was it for, with the flight, and I have to say for $60, it was pretty, pretty good. Customer service was good. The seats were the seats were really comfortable, and I think some of the funny things for me is kind of like, usually when you go into the airplane, they give you these big, I wouldn't say fancy uh, boarding passes, but with the airline, it was kind of like a receipt paper. So I found that really interesting. I, I think one of the biggest tips is kind of like, if you can, you can bring your carry-on bags because if you want to, if you plan to bring like a big bag of 40 pounds, 50 pounds, uh, you're gonna you're gonna need to pay for that. I and mean, the limit is gonna be 15 kilograms, which is gonna be 30 pounds for a check bag. So anything above that is gonna be an extra 300 baht for that. So just make sure to take that in consideration. And also in the flight, they brought us a little bit of water. So I think that was pretty good. So this airline actually reminds me of Spirit Airlines. So it has the same kind of like yellow uh, look. 
and kind of like the same also business concept so you pay for what you need but if you want anything additional to whatever you're already getting with the flight you're gonna need to pay something extra for that and I think that's gonna be everything for the video so right now we're in Krabi we're waiting for a shuttle bus to go to a Colanta so uh, I think it was fun like just filming this for you and I hope you're having a really good day and I'll talk to you later so don't forget to subscribe also because I'm gonna be releasing the content about like Thailand things to do and all these beautiful things okay and I'll talk to you later